Please welcome Gabriella, Jessica, and Michelle to the show. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. So, this is, this is crazy. I mean, you must have just been so brokenhearted. I'd like to hear from all of you. Tell me, tell me what happened. Let's start with you first. Let's tell me what happened. Well, um, I was watching the news, and the local news, and all of a sudden I hear Alfred Angelo closes his stores, and I was stunned, shocked. I was like, no, not my store. And um, sure enough, I tried calling, and no answer, and I went by the store, and big close sign. Golly, oh, yeah. how about you, what happened? Um, I actually got a phone call from another bridal boutique saying that they had my veil and my garment box and my, you know, slip, and they didn't have my dress, but they went in and took all the stuff from the Alfred Angelo store I had purchased it from, and were giving it out to the brides, but ultimately, you know, I was really upset because I didn't have what I had ordered. I would have said, oh, veil, no. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, what is your story? Um, I had no idea what happened, and when I found out, I kind of felt like the movie Inside Out a little bit. I was like, when all went through all these stages of grief, I was in shock, and I was like, not, you know, I paid in full, they're gonna make my dress. Um, and then I was really angry, because finally I realized there was no communication, the customer service was shut down. Um, and so I was like, okay, like, I gotta get another dress. Um, and how and much money had you spent? 2,400. 2,400 bucks, and how about you? 1,700. 1,700. Well, Good Samaritans came out of everywhere to help. Michelle, tell us about that. Well, when I heard about the story, um, I looked on to social media, and on Twitter, I met this you know, woman named Sheeta, and she was uh, able to, or offered to lend me and borrow her dresses. There was many women on Twitter that were doing the same thing. But um, Sheeta, her dress was uh, almost identical to the one that I had purchased. Um, but as far as I know, it's, uh, and she was, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Wedding Dress came about from that, which is nice, because right now the, um, as far as I know, the gown is in Florida for a bride, and then it's gonna be coming to me um, for my wedding in January. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> no, thank you. That's very exciting. Now, Michelle, we have a surprise for you. You don't have to wait any longer for your dress. Ishida wanted to hand deliver it to you. Ishida? What? Michelle? Oh, it's beautiful. It's, come, on, come on, stand over here where we can see you. Come stand by the dress. We all want to see, oh boy. You're gonna, yes, you're gonna be absolutely stunning in that. Thank you. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, that's terrific. Ishida, after, you. how are you, by the way? Doing well. I'm Harry, nice, <laughs> to, nice meet to meet you. you. After seeing the story about the closing, why was it important for you to lend out your dress? Well, I remember my wedding day. I just, I was so happy and I knew I had to offer my dress up. You know, I was raised with the idea that you give back to your community, you help people, you always. I love that. We love that around here. Ishida, thank you so much. Thank it's you. such a great message. The surprises don't stop there. First, because every bride needs a bachelorette party, Homewood Suites by Hilton wants to send all of you and a few friends to my hometown, New Orleans, to stay at their brand new property in the heart of the French Quarter. You're gonna enjoy a free breakfast daily and a spacious suite, but that is not all. Our friends at Hilton heard about what happened and they have a surprise for all y'all. That's how we say all of you where I'm from, all y'all. <laughs> Embassy Suites is sending you and your spouse on the honeymoon of your dreams. You're gonna spend six nights in a two-room suite at Embassy Suites by Hilton, Waikiki Beach. Oh! Just steps from the beach. What do you think, ladies? 